So it has ended at Selhurst Park and it is Crystal Palace who lose against Arsenal, which gives Arsenal four straight wins for the first time under Mikel Arteta. And this late resurgence means that as of time we're recording, we are one point off the top six moving in to the final day as West Brom are currently beating um, West Ham. Obviously, that is subject to change, but it's so crazy after the... After the year and season we've had for us to finish sixth and potentially above Spurs, remember Spurs have Leicester, which is going to be very difficult. We're going to look at that in our preview to the Brighton game, whether we can make top six or not, because we could still make Europa League, which is crazy to think. We've been mid-table all season and we just have a late resurgence and finishing somewhere like sixth would be absolutely crazy. But um, Nicola Pepe scored. In the 35th minute, an assist from Kieran Tini, a beautiful back pass from Bukayo Saka, good interchanging. Tini puts in a beautiful cross and Pepe gets us 1-0 up. After that, I have to say the game does die out, die out a bit and then it sort of comes into light after a beautiful cross from Andros Townsend it results in a Christian Menteke header and uh, we couldn't deal with that and they scored. Again, after that, it, it, there was a bit of fiery moments. You know, Zaha had one or two very good moments, um, but then it got a bit dead again. But then Gabriel Martinelli in the 90 plus one minute, Martin Erdegaard assist, got us a crucial goal to keep us in this. Because remember, if we lost this, we'd be out of the top, the European race altogether. So we wouldn't be able to finish in a conference league spot. So Martinelli scored and then Pepe in the 90 plus five minutes. He's, he's having a good season, isn't he? And... The, that run he made for that goal is brilliant but we need to see that all season and uh, it's too little too late I have to say because if we played like this like we have in the last four games throughout the whole season we could have generally been in Champions League spot I'm not even kidding because teams haven't been that good and we have beat the Champions League teams like the likes of Man City um, like the likes of Manchester United so it's a very tricky one but um, a lot of red card decision red card appeals and different things um, i'm not going to go through them at the moment because the decision is a decision and there's nothing much we can do to change it um but what we can do is look forward and look at the other results um if we can get a top seven or a top six spot personally i think we'll do it <laughs> i actually think we'll do it i actually think we'll get seven for sixth which is absolutely nuts to think about i think we'll get seventh personally um but it'll be very interesting to see and we'll go through that in our preview but if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe see you guys in the next one Bye bye